It's not wrong to receive the word of God with gladness. It's a wonderful thing. You ought to receive it that way. If you don't have any emotional response to the word of God, it's because you're not a Christian. But what I'm saying to you this afternoon is people can have a purely emotional experience to the word that bypasses the understanding and the implications of the call to discipleship. And the church throughout history has manufactured ways and techniques of producing this. If you go back into the medieval period, you've got a sophisticated ritualistic system that if you, a, a, an uneducated farmer, were to walk into one of these cathedrals and hear the sounds and see the sights and smell the smells, wow, your heart would have been overwhelmed emotionally. It was designed to do that. Or in the 1900s, evangelicals manufactured a whole conveyor belt system of how to get professions of faith out of people and so you have the big tent meeting and you whip people up into a frenzy with not a lot of truth but a lot of stories and at the end of it you get the organist to play in a particular way and you choose the song and you get everybody to shut their brains and then you start working on the emotions is there someone here someone here want to come to Christ put your hand up put your hand up we just want to see your hand but they don't just want to see your hand by the way you put your hand up. Oh, now you've put your hand up. Would you come to the front? They come to the front, say a prayer, get a card, and abracadabra, you're a Christian. Those kind of things have butchered countless numbers of souls. I'm not saying that nobody has ever been converted in that way. God can speak through Balaam's ass. He's, he's able to use things like that. But the whole system is set up to have a purely emotional response to the Word of God. 